Right. After ionization enthalpy, let us start learning the concept of electron affinity. Already in the inorganic series 2, I have done the tricks how to remember or how to solve the questions when electron affinity values are given to you. Right. So now electron affinity, what is the definition? Let's see. Right. Suppose if I take a metal atom, now what am I going to do or an element or an atom rather, I am going to add one electron to this. Means accepting this electron, what will happen? It becomes M minus. And now the amount of energy released here during this process is called electron affinity. It can, we also call it as electron gain enthalpy. Now, so how can I define the energy released when an electron or when a neutral atom, let us write like that, this is neutral isn't it, when an neutral isolated atom accepts electron right simple same thing I am taking m minus I am adding one more electron it becomes m minus 2 so electron affinity is e2 the same thing I am taking m minus 2 I am adding one more electron <coughs> this becomes m minus 2 3 e3 all these are electron affinity values what are the units for measuring them I can measure electron affinity by electron volt per atom same like ionization enthalpy it can be kilojoules per mole or kilocalories per mole also right now let's start coming let's start uh, solving different different reasoning equations based on electron affinity These are some of the electron affinity values. So, we said electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy both are same, right? So, in electron gain enthalpy also we have two different types. So that is positive electron gain enthalpy and negative electron gain enthalpy, right? So, here when I see the values, there are some negative values, there are some positive values also. So, basically from where do we get electron affinity values? We can get indirectly from born haber cycle. So, I already did a video based on born haber cycle. Just watch the video, please. Now, so, here this negative electron gain enthalpy, right? This one. Whenever you're getting negative electron gain enthalpy, that means energy is released. This is called negative electron gain enthalpy. And suppose if you have positive value, it is called energy is absorbed. It is positive electron gain enthalpy values. Now, see here. When I take this example, suppose when I am adding one electron to oxygen, it is becoming O minus. During that process, electric energy is released. But the same thing, if I am further taking out, means if I am further adding one more electron to this, the same thing I am taking here, that means it is like this, O minus. I am adding one more electron, it is absorbing energy. So, it's where it's if first, of, first time, it is easy, I, energy is released. But second time to add, I need to supply some energy so that it is adding the electron. So, there are two types of electron gain enthalpies, positive electron gain enthalpy as well as negative gain electron gain enthalpy.